A replay of something in the past. Have letter number 5460. November 5, 2015. It is not for you to remonstrate against another because he knows less than you do. He may well have not been smart enough or well-intentioned enough to bless you and, therefore, the world. Yet this does not make you holy either. What is the good of being right when there is havoc in your heart, or hardness in your heart where warm palpable love belongs? What justifies you to be less than you really are either? What justifies you to return ignorance for ignorance? Who are you exactly to return hurt for hurt? You, too, can offer kindness rather than righteousness. You can love me, and love your neighbor. Love yourself, love me, and love your neighbor. If you don't love being offended, then stop being offended. Some poor fool wasn't thinking of what he was really doing. He thought he was right in not considering how his words or actions or inactions would affect you and would affect him. What did he think he was proving by his unkindness or even ruthlessness? What are you proving when retaliation burns in your heart? He can do this to me. He has no right. That's just how the offender is thinking. You meant no harm to him. You were innocent. Now he is defending his lack of thoughtfulness, and you, my beloved, may be catching right up to him. You are thinking, how dare he treat me like this? I am a good person. No one has the right to treat me this way. No matter how you have been offended, you do not serve yourself or anyone or me well by justifying yourself. Because he is mistaken or outright wrong in your eyes doesn't mean you are to justify a war, no matter how small it may be. Be done with it. Cease fire now. Whether the fire is the internal ravishing or telling the other party off, cease fire now. Be done with the conflagration. Both parties feel trashed. Right or wrong doesn't enter in. You feel what the other party did was inexcusable. He feels the same. You may have done nothing at all untoward. He just saw it that way. He interpreted it that way. It is always his problem, not yours. He interpreted wrongly. Actually, he saw a replay of something in his past. He didn't even see you. This is his loss. Don't make it yours. People disappoint. It seems like betrayal. Do not betray yourself by holding resentment. Let me apologize to you on behalf of yourself for being offended. I apologize to you that you took offense. Let go of your offense. This is within your power, for I gave you the ability to let go. Not everyone always acts at his best. When you are offended, you are not acting at your best. Understandably or not, you are not at your best. Whatever happened, it is now yours to let go of. Otherwise, you fight to the end, even when the fighting is internal. Ultimately, you truly are angry at yourself. You made the mistake of thinking that the other party liked you and cared about you, and you were disappointed. This is his unforgivable sin, not loving you now if ever. Indeed, he may well have cared about you. This doesn't mean he owes you. Now comes the hard part. If he has been stingy with you with money or with love, so have you. If he became greedy, so have you. If he had had a brain in his head and had only thought ahead, he would have done differently, and so would you. I accuse you of being a human being who doesn't always see clearly any more than anyone else. Consider that this is a battle of egos. What else can it be? Like it or not, a battle of wills tends to be a battle of egos. No matter who seems to come out ahead, there is no winner and no cigar. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org